karma market question is whether or not it can be used to process things like um, external X XML uh, XML records files. For example, like the Project Gutenberg or um, harvesting data from uh, various OAI repositories. Uh, in the tutorials I've been posting, uh, hopefully the, the ability to be able to do that is becoming more clear. Uh, but I thought I'd show a, a, a specific example. Um, the Project Gutenberg, for example. Uh, the Project Gutenberg provides their data sets in RDF. Um, and so in order to translate that data from uh, RDF into MARC, we have to um, create a style sheet, sign it into MARC edit, and then allow the program to facilitate the transfer from one record set to another. All right, so MARC edit, the, um, there is an, a Project Gutenberg uh, style sheet. Um, you can find it on the MARC edit website in the download sections right here. Um, you can download this and once downloaded uh, essentially you just need to assign it to mark edit. Um, we do that basically by selecting uh, the mark breaker, the tools, edit XML function, add, we enter in the name of the uh, file that we want to add, uh, the style sheet path, so the path of where we save that style sheet, the project Gutenberg data is going to be other, the format is going to be mark, and then we'll do a tell it OK. Uh, if you want to see what this looks like exactly, it looks like this right here. Um, I've already defined it in my style, in my uh, application, so here we've, I've defined the function name. Uh, the style sheet path is in the current mark edit directory, program directory slash xslt. Um, it's an other mark and I've told it uh, the various functions here. So now all I need to do is I just need to find um, my stuff from the Project Gutenberg. So I've downloaded the Project Gutenberg files. They're found here inside of uh, on the desktop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get them or we're going to break this file real quick. So desktop, catalog, and the RDF file here. I am going to save it. The mark file. And then I'm going to select the XML function that it is here. And so Project Gutenberg to mark. Execute that file. It's going to take just a minute because there's quite a few files in the, in the folder. Um, and what's going on right now is MarkEdit is basically doing uh, two processes. One is it's taking the data in RDF and it's disassembling it, turning it into uh, Mark XML. And then once that data has been uh, translated to Mark XML, it takes that data again and it translates the, the Mark XML data into Mark. And so the process is finished, 27 seconds. Uh, and we can, if we want to, quickly look at the files that have been translated. They're going to be um, here on the desktop in the sample files where we put them. Catalog.mark. Go ahead and generate the process here. There were 28,000 records processed when we did the, the thing. And we can look here and we can see what the data looks like once it's been processed. And so this is essentially what each Project Gutenberg record looks like having been processed through the MARC XML, uh, through the MARC Edit uh, Project Gutenberg um, RDF translator. And so that's essentially it. Um, it's basically just a process of being able to generate those style sheets and then assign them to MARC Edit so that it knows how to handle individual record sets. The nice thing is once one of these style sheets have been created, so the one that is on the Mark Edit website provides the, uh, the capability to translate between the Project Gutenberg RDF and Mark XML. Because of that, what you can do is you can take that Project Gutenberg RDF and translate it with any other metadata function that's currently in um, Mark Edit. So uh, it would be a two-step process, but you could do Project Gutenberg to Mark XML and then Mark XML to something like mods, for example. Um, and that's just essentially doing uh, the same process where we add a function here project uh, Gutenberg 
to mark XML. We select the style sheet. that uh, we're going to use. And in this case it's going to be the style sheet, uh, the Project Gutenberg style sheet. And so that's this one right here. We're going to tell it other, mark XML, OK. And then we're going to add another one. And this one's going to be, actually, let's just, yeah, we'll go ahead and mark XML to uh, mods. Mark XML to mod style sheet. And we have one right here, mark XML to mods 3. And so that's going to tell us it's mark XML as the source file, other is the finished file, OK, close. And then we can do this in a two step process where we select again the uh, Project Gutenberg file to the catalog.rdf. We're going to save it as an XML file, so catalog. Dot. Now let's go ahead and add what kind of mark XML. So mark XML. So we're going to say it's mark XML file. And then let's make sure we select the right one here, Project Gutenberg to mark XML. And we're going to go ahead and execute that file. And again, if we remember, it took, uh, it took about 20 seconds last time, so we're going to let it go ahead and process. And it should take roughly, uh, I'd, I'd guess, about 15 seconds to process the file. Maybe 20, because we're not doing the, the it's not a, a multiple step. So there, yeah, 17 seconds. And so then we have here the Mark XML file. So we can go ahead and select that, the Mark XML file. And then let's find mark XML to mod. So we're going to create a new file here. And we're going to call this uh, catalog mod.xml. And then we're going to process that file. And that file should process fairly quickly. And then once finished, so we've done that one, and now that it's finished, we can quickly open up here the catalog mods file. And what we will see Looks like this is going to freeze up IE. Looks like it's going to be too large of a file for IE to load. Um, let me open it in uh, Notepad then. See if Notepad can handle it. Now it's a 34 megabyte file. Um, Alright. Yeah, there we go. So Notepad could open it. So we can see that the data has been translated into uh, from the Project Gutenberg RDF. We translated it into Mark XML as a as kind of a intermediary format, and then from Mark XML we translated it into mods. And so then we end up getting our mod style sheet. So that's just one way that uh, you can use Mark Edit to do those um, multi-step translations and uh, if you're somebody who can work with the Mark Edit XML or the Mark Edit API, you can actually automate that into a single process. Um, so uh, that uh, hopefully that helps clear up some of the ways that uh, you can utilize Mark Edit to do these um, multi-stage uh, metadata translations.